Today, let's talk about books. Let's get right into it, starting with books that taught me how to draw. Um, so first off is Figure It Out by Chris Hart. Um, this book is actually very, very helpful despite uh, Chris Hart's reputation from what I've heard in the art community. Um, this book has really, really useful information on everything about drawing the human figure, going from the head um, to drawing the body, and then specifically drawing um, men and women and giving you really essential poses to learn how um, certain body parts look um, at certain angles and gives you really good tips on how to make sure you're drawing um, characteristics that will really help clue your um, audience into what you're drawing um, and really make it seem like correct anatomy. Um, I use this book intensely as a young artist. I copied out of it um, over and over again and it really helped me learn how to draw um, the human figure accurately and that's how I learned how to draw humans to begin with because I was really bad at it and I know they're a really tough subject. So the next book that I'm going to talk about is uh, from a famous YouTuber. You might know him, uh, Jazza. He made this awesome book about um, character creation. And normally I don't really like books that teach you how to draw like a specific character, like step by step. Um, and he does have a couple of those in here, but he really focuses on... Um, the design of a character, the process behind refining it, and then focuses on um, different types of characters and how to incorporate um, their characteristics into your style um, so that you can con convey those types of characters accurately. Um, obviously, he's a really famous YouTuber, but it's really awesome to have um, a book by someone in this community and be able to support them directly. Um, and it's also just a really awesome resource, this book. Um, it really helped me. Um, like I said, it has these little tips um, that clue you in um, about different characters, what to add to your drawing to make it um, that specific character. Um, and then the third book is on perspective. I know how hard perspective can be for beginning artists or even advanced artists, and it keep, it holds them back from wanting to draw backgrounds because perspective is so hard. Um, so I got this book at Michael's, and um, it really, really breaks down just everything you want to know about perspective. I haven't even gotten through the whole thing, and I've learned so much. Um, it'll break down one point, two point, three point perspective, certain objects within perspective and how to render those correctly. Um, and it's all narrated by this little robot character who is teaching you. Um, so that's uh, Perspective Made Easy by Robbie Lee um, and it's published by Impact. Uh, also another really good how to draw um, resource. The next set of books that I want to go over are books that are on the creative process and just the, the thought process behind a piece and how to make that. And the first one that I want to look at is um, Wreck This Journal. Wreck This Journal is pretty famous. Um, it's by Carrie Smith. I highly recommend all of her books, but really she just gets down to the nitty gritty of making art and being unashamed about making art. Um, I made this Reckless Journal uh, Disney themed and just every single page I came up with an idea based off of a Disney movie and just went with it and I wasn't afraid to make mistakes in it. I wasn't um, like my first Reckless Journal. I just went crazy with it because um, you're not worried about ruining this perfect sketchbook or this perfect image that you've made. Um, it's just f like artistic freedom um, and it's such an awesome, awesome experience to be able to have all these different prompts and then come up with a ton of ideas and um, it really helps you experiment. There's so many different mediums it asks you to use, like even like crazy stuff like food and um, like receipts from your dinner or um, like 
lick colorful candy and then lick the page. Like, I keep bringing up, like, the food ones because those are the, like, really wow ones that people tend to think of. Um, like, the really weird ones. But there's ones where you're just, like, throwing the object around and just, like, kicking your book this way. And, like, it just totally breaks down that whole sacred sketchbook attitude that some people have. I know I was very, very precious with my notebooks and my sketchbooks. And I still kind of am. The sketchbook tour that I made, um, you know, I love that sketchbook dearly, but I wasn't afraid to experiment in it, and I wasn't afraid to have that whole, um, like, ruined page. I try not to tear things out of my sketchbook, and I learned that mindset from Wreck This Journal. I honestly cannot recommend Wreck This Journal enough. I have three of them. Um, one which I've completed, the Disney one I haven't done in a while, but I have all pages planned out for it and want to return to it. Um, and then I have a third, um, Wreck This Journal where I plan to just kind of go nuts with it again. Um, but it's really, it's really helpful. It's like a bunch of drawing challenges all just in one bound book that you have. Um, like I said, can't say enough about it. Um, and then the next two books I'm going to go over are art of books. So the first one is Big Hero 6, um, the art of Disney's Big Hero 6. And these books by Disney um, go through the whole making and concept behind the movie. Um, I got this one specifically just because I loved the movie. And then I had done a flip through in my local bookstore of a couple of them. And this one had really good information about character design and world building. Um, they did a lot of different research at Disney for this movie to create it. Um, and to make uh, San, San, San Frocchio, the mashup of San Francisco and Tokyo. And they talk about why they did that and like the history behind it and the possible like just their whole world building aspect and then also character concepts and how they developed um the designs for uh Hiro and uh Tadashi and the their aunt and Honey Lemon and Wasabi and um all of that kind of stuff how they made logos all really cool useful things and then probably a really cool one is the color script at the back where they show how they used color to convey mood throughout the movie and a lot of books have that um really really useful really cool to see um because that's something that's really subtle but um something that's very very powerful in art um and then the next one same kind of concept is the art of over the garden wall and I got this book specifically because that's how I kind of want my art to look I love those desaturated colors I love old style cartoons um, and this book was just absolutely beautiful um, and this book is a little different it goes episode by episode um, and uh, goes through the characters of that episode the setting of that episode um, the whole concept behind it, explaining it. This book is absolutely, like, chock full of concept art, um, like, the whole process behind creating this show, um, and once again is just really, really beautiful as, like, a book to read. Um, I haven't been able to explore it fully, and unfortunately, I actually, like, haven't seen Over the Garden Wall to my greatest and deepest regret. Um, but I'm so excited. I hope to buy it <laughs> so I can watch it whenever because it seems like a really awesome, um, series. Really well done creatively. Um, but yeah, great book going through the process of creating that whole show. Same thing with, um the Big Hero 6 and these Art of books are really, really useful. And then lastly, uh, I have these kind of general uh, resource books that I have. Um, one's a little more specific, this comic one. Um, I thought I wanted to make comics or graphic novels, um, and then I learned comic making is really very, very tedious. Um, but I still kind of want to explore that. This book is absolutely amazing. Um, when it says complete guide, they're very, very thorough. And they have um, pro tips from actual 
um, comic artists. They talk about writing and, once again, character design and how um, timing and flow work with your comic book layouts. It really goes over... um, like the whole process of refining your comic in Photoshop and how to letter it and how um mark how to market it it really just like is a complete guide to self-publishing comics like the title is absolutely perfect in describing what this book is here for um once again really useful book you can find it online and I'll post links down below Um, And then the last book here is this um, Color Mixing Recipes for Oil, Acrylic, and Watercolor. Um, I don't paint much, but when I do, this book is absolutely invaluable. Um, It's exactly what it says. It has um, just color theory, um, and then it breaks down color recipes first by, um, like, color family, and then it goes into... um, skin tones, hair, uh, landscape, um, how to gray colors. It has a whole bunch of other useful just color mixing tips as well as all of these color recipes. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm like oddly attracted to like color palettes and like um, paint chips. So this book was like a godsend for me. It's so beautiful just to look at. Um, But I've actually used it in painting um, and it has these, at the back, these neat little color mixing grids in clear plastic, and you can use it, um, to make sure you're following the recipe that it has in the book, um, and to make sure that when you actually mix your colors, you're able to mix that same color over and over again so you don't run out of paint, um, this I actually found at Michael's once again, um, but I'll post a link below to the a- to Amazon. Um, once again, just a really useful book. I love it. Um, and these are all the books that I have used in my art journey um, growing up as a young artist. Um, some are new, some are old, but all of them have been really useful to me and I hope they're really useful to you too. If you like this video, um, please like and subscribe. Um, tune in next week. I post videos every Sunday. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Um, If you'd like to know more about some of these books, um, if you would like to have like a flip through of some of them, I would love to show you guys more or um, talk about one more specifically. And also let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or what you would like to see next. Thanks guys. I hope to see you next week.